Protesters in Birmingham are calling for the police to be defunded, highlighting the disparity in funding compared to other services in the city. Brittany Dion explains exactly what this means. Protester Robert Rosencrantz demanding defunding local police departments, calling out Birmingham. $90 million plus for the police and 50000 for social services. That's an 1,800-fold difference. The term defunding police to some may sound like completely dismantling departments, but head of ACLU Alabama Randall Marshall says that's not what most protesters are asking for. The notion of defunding the police or divesting from the police is to take away some of the work that's been uh, lumped on them over the years, uh, putting police in schools, uh, putting police um, uh, handling mental health crisis, having police handle homelessness. What we're calling for is to take the resources that are going to police departments for those things and get them into other facilities and personnel that are going to actually help deal with the underlying uh, root cause. Birmingham City Councilor Hunter Williams, chair of the Public Safety Committee, says he's proud of the progress BPD has made over the years to match the demographic of the community, which he says helps build the relationship between neighbors and officers. I think that it's a very good thing that we have conversations with the community, not at the community, but with the community about what their expectations are from a law enforcement perspective, and then how they want those expectations met. Williams says the community would need to step up and speak out against crime for a new system of policing to work. The Birmingham Public Safety Committee is planning to meet next week to discuss how to make the police department more efficient.